<laughs> that was a terrible idea. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I was trying to speak with water in my mouth. That is a terrible idea. Oh, welcome back to the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Um, we're underwater. And as common as it is for underwater areas to be terrible at games, this is actually not that bad. As well as it being very limited. Also skydiving, or not skydiving, diving Goombas. You surprisingly have a lot more control over swimming than you would think. Just gotta keep mashing jump. But of course, you keep mashing jump so it can tire out your hand pretty easily. I don't remember if there's any items in this room. But there is a ton of enemies, and they're just around. Oh, well, there's the bean. Also, all your actions are very slowed down because underwater. That because that makes sense. Also, that they're literally just goom divers. Nothing special. I don't remember if you can kill their helmet or they just like float up. Honestly, think that would be really funny. But either way, not that big of a problem. There are other enemies down here, and some of them can be annoying. I believe the main thing about being underwater is that uh, a good chunk of the enemies can poison you. For now, of course, to get through, we have to use our newly acquired hand powers. This is the closest you're going to get to underwater technology. Stop hitting the R button. I need my fat fingers. Ah, oh, yep, there's some bloopers. I held it way too early. Way too early. And I can't even defend against that one. Oh, wait, I never did perfect this. Let's do that. Jeez, there was like almost no time to respond to that. Now I'm just getting sloppy. I don't know how well this will work. Still can't get the timing down for that. What is wrong with me? There we go. Alright, let's see if it works this time. There we go. Of course. Because I completely forgot we are swimming above dangerous sea spikes. We can't get up there because it's too high. You can only swim up a certain height depending on from where you started. But I believe we want to... Oh, right. Can't go down there. I thought that was the other way. Nope. Through the magic magical underwater cave. Also, we can light fire underwater. I <laughs> forgot to mention that earlier. Simple. Memorize the pattern. Seriously, this does not make any sense. No, come on. Not much to it. That is if the game will have bigger hitboxes from these things, for some of these things. But I can understand why, considering that they're really close together. This one, we're gonna have to find something else, or another way to get behind that. But for now, more swimming. This big open room. We're actually gonna have to touch down and swim up again. Oh, no. 
Oh, here we go. Reuse of an enemy we've already seen. But now stronger and improved because lazy designs. I don't know. Pestnut. Are they literally the same thing? Actually, I think they are. This, you know what? This is what I was thinking earlier. Get rid of this thing, spikes. Oh, I thought I was gonna do it then. Dang it. Might have to heal. I'm gonna die to common enemies. How pitiful am I? Extremely, extremely pitiful. Oh yeah, forgot we can totally use our hand power in battle. This is what I was thinking. Get rid of the spikes. It, it just floats up. <laughs> uh, away with you. Now the hand powers are interesting in battle. Some enemies will be extremely weak to it, while others can actually heal off of it if you use it on the incorrect enemy. Of course, pretty much you just have to learn which is which for whatever enemy. I should also probably go over how to use them in battle. You gotta let them charge up. Like, there we go. Critical. That means it did super, super effective damage. I forget what the damage multiplier is on a critical hit instead of a lucky. I th lucky is double damage. I want to say critical is either one and a half or two and a half. I'll probably pop it up on screen what it actually is. Get rid of this blooper. And when will I finally get the advanced version of this move? Not today, apparently. Get away from me. That's it. No more hand on the R button. And more enemies. Wasn't feeling that fight. Can't go down, so... Only can go left. And look at that. We're already almost out, we're already out of the water. Not almost, we are. Uh, no need for the same book. But I will heal because I took a lot of damage down here. Uh, you're low on BP too. There we go. Go up the pipe, hold A and B, hold up. It took me forever to figure that out as a kid. So I was stuck here for a while. Meanwhile, near the border. Oh god, we killed him. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hi. Oh, great calculator. Will this guy do? Anyone will do for now. Hurry, quickly. Only mean good things. But we're finally back on the mainland and, the, and at the beach. And voila, our prince friend has come to greet us. I have searched high and low for you too. I fear that you met a terrible fate. Luigi is an excellent uh, describer of events. Yes, it is true. The bean stars split into four pieces. They have scattered. It's sad. It is sad, really. Yeah, so sad. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> what? You'll say you help me search for the bean star pieces? Of course, I would be. Mo I would be most appreciative. But actually, I'd like you two to go to the Bean Bean Airport. <laughs> you see, Princess Peach is blessing our fair land with her presence. Yes, indeed! Wow, Luigi! <laughs> Princess Peach's stature visiting the kingdom is a very serious affair. And that is why I would like you two in attendance to her, to greet her royal loveliness. As such, you must head for Beeping Airport immediately. 
Well, by the by, Bean Bean Airport is south of Bean Bean Castle. I must head there myself immediately, so I'll see you there. Man, I really want his flying thing. Is it a pillow? I think it's a pillow. It looks like a pillow, so I'm just gonna say it's a pillow. Also, hi Lakitu, no one likes you. I believe fire is super effective against the Spinies. Nope, it's just a lucky hit. It's lightning. Also, you, you get some pretty funny goof-ups with those hand powers. Let's go back to the town, though. Because I believe the town should have new inventory? I could be completely wrong. I don't know. They don't. Cool. Still buying one-ups. I honestly don't remember when the hell the store is supposed to get and... Actually, I know exactly when we get an inventory upgrade, and it's not too far from now. But you'd think after said events that we would get a new equipment pieces. Actually, are these new? Mm, no. Yeah, no. Never mind then. I don't know why I'm here. I don't think I can make any more drinks. Might as well check. You have to talk to the person, you nut nuts. I'm gonna hold off for making on drinks for now. I'm close for a few, but I want to get a few more beans. Uh, shit. Oh, right. <laughs> totally prepared and I know exactly what I'm doing there is one thing I, I want to see if we can even grab it to begin with also because we have our hand powers we can now solve a lot more puzzles and grab a, a ton of nice extra things in the world like starting with this <laughs> Might as well as use these enemies to practice the hand abilities. Oh, that actually went through. That is surprisingly forgiving of you, game. I still hate Lakitu. You know what? This is extreme overkill, but I want the damn advanced ability. FINALLY! Advance. Oh, yeah. Only on the Game Boy Advance. Which is what I'm usually currently using to play this. Cool. Using it as a controller to play it on my GameCube, which has a Game Boy Advance player attached to it. Technology is fun. But with our hand powers, I mean, there's that shortcut there, but you could also just keep going over but there's this mystical cave that has a house in it with some familiar faces whoa I was wondering who that might be it's the good old Mario Brothers how, how have you guys been doing we moved out this way recently this new place is bigger than our old one which makes it easier for us to do our work which is good Say, are those hammers we made for you striking mighty blows? Well, how about we reforge them and power them up for you? What do you say? It's free? Reforge your hammers? Why is this even, an, like, a declinable option? <laughs> Just give us a sec. Just keep pounding away. Now they have a gray tint to them. <laughs> it's an excellent paint job. Even more powerful. We have super hammers. You ought to be able to break rocks that you couldn't break before. Go ahead and try and test out your strength, those bad boys. Come back here again after a while. You never know, we might be able to forge your hammers again and make them even stronger. Keep that in mind. Please keep that in mind. But now we can break those gray rocks. But we can't break the black ones. That's what the next upgrade's for. But, through here, we have a thwomp. I am thwomp. 
I love a good game. Test your luck for mere 200 coins. Are you guys ready to show me the mightiest swing you've got? You pay 200 coins? A one in three shot for an item. Now, one of these contains an item that we want. Another, I believe, contains our money back in coins, while the third one is just empty. So, press your luck. Which one do you think will hold the item that you desire? This one had the money back. Actually, it contained more money than we put in. So we, we've made almost a profit off this now. Well, we did. This one. There we go. You got the secret scroll one. You can now use a new bro attack in battle. A secret bro attack. So with that, we are now able to deal more massive damage. Though I will say, these bro attacks that you obtain from here are a little... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Odd. They, they are very effective, but they are a lot tougher compared to the other bro attacks, so just keep that in mind. I recommend practicing them a lot, especially the one we just got. But hey, why don't we actually try it out? Actually fight Lakitu. Well, we got two things to show off, really. Well, let's get rid of that extra spiny. Our new bro attack is Swing Bros. I've always been terrible at this, but this one costs a little bit more than compared to the Slash and Chopper Bros. And I totally screwed it up. Thought it was B instead of A. Whatever. Go me! I I'm effectively showing things off. <clears throat> I, I, I don't think I could have done that better. Alright. You spin, and then the target cursor appears. The faster you go, the f more damage you'll do. But it's harder to land. As you can see. It's a very, very weird attack. The cursor appears over the target, but it keeps getting faster. The faster it goes, the more damage you do, but of course it's harder to land. I do like the advanced version of the move, just because of how cool it looks. But of course, we need to get to the airport, because we're late for our flight! Our arriving flight, that is. Please, uh, we're not riding in the airplane. Come on. Still can't do anything with these boo statues. Even with our new acquired hand powers. We did need to get the hammers because... Well... Never mind. I thought <laughs> this was the entrance to the airport. I'm an idiot because I just remember what the actual entrance thing is. Why don't we practice Swing Bros again? You do have to hit B against the enemy, though, when you once you launch successfully. Just keep that in mind. Maybe I should have done the explanation in the slowed down version of the move because that would have been... Smarter. I don't know, I don't really think these things through. I just kind of do it. But we want to shock these. And a bridge magically appears, because logic. Still can't... We can't go over that. I don't know why I said still. This We just came over here. But we got one of these annoying coin blocks that I hate because of how slow they are. I thought this was a good idea. Surely it wasn't me. 
I didn't make this game. A bunch of Japanese people did. Whatever. Next time on Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we're actually going to go to the airport and greet the princess as she makes her way into the lovely Bean Bean Kingdom. And by lovely, I mean this atrocity that is this land. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's, fic it's, it's fictional, so who fucking cares? See you next time.